What is up, Epic Gamers? I'm back with another coin game video. I've been playing this game a lot, and you guys on the streams have been enjoying it. So today, I'm going to do a beginner's guide, because I know a lot of you guys have actually started playing this game alongside me, and are wondering what you should do when you start. So we're going to do a little beginner's guide here for all you guys today. I got a new file here. We just started. Brand new save. So this is going to be exactly what you see when you load into the game. Uh, first thing you'll notice, you got a bunch of numbers in the bottom right screen there. Now, that, the, the number of numbers there makes it look kind of like intimidating or like a lot going on. The main three you have to pay attention to is the health, the energy, and the time of day, which are the hearts, the little lightning bolts, and then the clock. Um, all the other numbers are like things like your currencies and stuff like that. Don't worry about that for now. Uh, the main point of the game, though, is to stay alive. And to do that, you got to eat food. Now, when we start the game, we go downstairs here. We do have a couple of things. We got our little pet goose. Love this guy. Look at him watching TV. Oh, he doesn't like that channel, though. Okay. Uh, if we go to the pantry here, we do have some starting food. So we can go ahead and grab any food item, eat that up. So now we got full health and we're a little bit low on energy. So we can open up the fridge. We got some sodies in here. The general rule of thumb with food is junk food, like sodas or candies. That's going to give you more energy. And then the real food is going to give you health like sandwiches and pizzas and stuff like that. Uh, I think you also have some microwave dinners in here. Yeah, you can microwave these up in the microwave here if you want. But we got full health now, full energy, so we're good to go. Uh, one more thing you can do before we head out for our first day is inside the, your bedroom, we got the claw machine here. This is your personal claw machine. You can play it for free if you want, but you can also open it up and take some of the stuff out of here. And I recommend doing that. None of this stuff is really, you don't need to worry about like saving stuff for later. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just take all that because we need to get some money because as you can see in the bottom here We only got two dollars and fifty cents. We do have ten dollars in the bank as well And that's what you start off with 1250 which isn't a whole lot So we're gonna go ahead and head outside and first thing we gotta do is make some money We do have a bike here that we can use to get around town. That's free And then if we're on the bike, we can pull the uh, map. We can kind of look around here and so to make money, there's a couple different ways you can go about that. You can work one of the odd jobs. Uh, the jobs are on the map are located by the boots. So anywhere where you see a little boot icon, you can find a job to work. Um, I don't really like doing the jobs because I didn't buy this game to do manual labor. I bought this game to play arcade games and carnival games. But I'll go ahead and show off just one of the jobs real quick here. It's right around the corner. You got the little mail delivery job here. I'm going to get off my bike here. Got to pick up a stack of papers. I'll go ahead. I'm only going to grab one because I'm only going to show you guys how to do one. But you can do the entire paper route. So for this job, you would uh, be going to all the red mailbox icons on the map and then delivering the mail to each of them. I believe you get $2 per mailbox and then you also get a bonus for doing all of them. As far as jobs go, the mail delivery and the pizza delivery I think are my two favorite ones. Um... But there's better ways to make money besides doing jobs. The jobs are cute, right? Like, it's kind of cute to do that. And I probably should have talked about how to actually put that in. I did that super effortlessly. But getting those things in there is actually a pain in the ass. I only did it super good because I, you know, I play this game a lot. I think I got, like, over 100 hours now. And I just started playing the game a week ago. So, yeah, I've been playing in this game quite a bit. So those are the jobs. If you want to do those, I'm going to have like another guide video uh, kind of breaking down all the different jobs and which ones pay the most and what's the best way to do them. So that'll be a, a future videos guide. Maybe I have it out by now. Check my channel playlist under the coin game playlist. Maybe I have it out by the time you're watching this. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and make money a different way. My preferred way, which is by playing carnival games, because carnival games are very, very lucrative in this game. I think carnival games are actually like way better than the arcade games as far as making money is concerned. Although I do like playing the arcade games more. But the whole point is to get money so you can do whatever you want to do, right? Uh, we're also going to go ahead and head to the supermarket. Uh, and we're going to take out our $10 out of our bank. You don't really need to have money in the bank ever. You can use it later. There's little robots you can hire to do some of the, the menial jobs. But we don't have enough money to do that yet. We got to do everything ourselves. And I don't want to overcomplicate this guy by talking about every single feature the game has to offer. So we'll go ahead and just skip that for now. And we're going to head down to the carnival. If you don't know where that is, it's all the way in the bottom of the map. Uh, the south side by the Island Mill Mall and Cinema. Right beneath that, you got the Pier Fairgrounds. And we're going to head down there and make our first little bit of money. Alrighty, so we're here at the carnival. Island Time Amusements. Here we got a bunch of carnival games and carnival rides. You can ride the rides as well, but it doesn't really do anything for you. It's just kind of a cute little thing to do. 
Uh, pretty much any carnival game is going to be a pretty good value. I like to do the balloon pop. That's my favorite one. But you got the little horse racing game. You got the little pick a duck. I don't recommend this one. This one's just gambling. You can't control like which ones are the winners. Uh, you got the star shooting game. I think this is like the most optimal game you can play because one of the prizes you can win sells for $100. But this game's kind of hard. And uh, right now it's kind of buggy. Prize. I'll go ahead and do one just to kind of show off right, what I mean by being right buggy. When you aim the gun, right? I go and zoom in. You see how he kind of like twitches like left and right. He's not doing it so much now. He does it a lot. Yeah, there we go. Now it's kind of getting a bit worse. So I find that this game's a little bit kind of buggy. I'm not really a big fan of it, but you know, you, you can still win it and it's still pretty good. Let's see if I can get a get a win here. I'm not trying that hard, so if I miss it, I miss it. It's not a huge deal. But we're doing uh, this is pretty good so far. I think we might actually have this win right here. Did we get it? We did not get it. There's like a very small amount of red still showing. We're not gonna play this one because this one's five dollars a play. We only had twelve dollars. Now we're down to nine fifty. Probably shouldn't even show that off, but it's whatever. Uh, the game that I like to play here, over here is the Balloon Pop. We got the uh, Pro Roller. This is a fun game too, but we'll save that for another time. Balloon Pop. That's where that's where we're gonna go. All right. So for the goal for this one, all you gotta do is throw your darts at the balloons. Now a little pro trick. Once you get good at aiming, uh, if you aim for the ones on the sides, you can sometimes get a two for one. Like right there, you go right there. Perfect. The dart kind of landed in a weird angle. I'll see if I can get that again. I don't get it every time. Oh, got it again. Perfect. All right. Can I get it a third time in a row? Nice. All right. So three times in a row, I got two for ones. And we got six cri uh, prize credits here. And four gets you a pink snow cone. This, I think, is the best uh, value. It uh, sells for $22 in the store. And we just bought it for $3. So that was pretty good. Let's go ahead and do one more here, actually. See if we can get another one. Three bucks for three dots. Pop one dot and you're a winner. Now, if you find the side ones hard to aim for, you can just go for a middle one, too. You're still getting pretty good value. On, uh, all you got to do is get the dark center screen. If you want to cheat it and, like, put a little post-it note or marker on your computer, that's fine. I think there's also some third-party programs you can download that will, like, mark Come the on, center of your screen for you. But there we go. We got another win right there. Got another three. I'll go ahead and just pick up another winner, snow cone. Winner, and we, we got 350 left. That's, that's fine. We'll go ahead and end it here. And then we just got to collect our prizes. And we sell these prizes for more money that we'll use to play more games and then buy food and keep ourselves alive. It's kind of the gameplay loop. You eat, you play, you sleep, repeat. Another good thing to do is to check the uh, trash can. We actually found a scratch card inside this trash can. Hell yeah, that's good luck right there. If we win. Let's see if we win the scratch card. Nope, we did not. So that's just garbage. We'll go ahead and keep it though. You can recycle the empty garbages in this game, so you don't have to worry about it. But yeah, this carnival has a lot of trash cans, so you actually should scavenge these as well. I meant to talk about that first. I have like my little notes here, what to talk about, but I kind of did it out of order. Yeah, this is another scratch card that's already been scratched, but we can go ahead and pick that up still. It's 50 cents at the recycling. Oh, got another one. Oh my God, this is lucky. I've never seen two of these here. Ah, and I still didn't win nothing. You can eventually buy scratch cards if you like gambling and that's your thing, but uh, I don't recommend doing it at first because you never win all these things, man. But if you find them in the trash cans, that's good. You can also find food. I found some food here. Go ahead and eat that. That's some free garbage food right there, man. I don't care. I'll eat anything to stay alive. Let's check a few more of the trash cans before we head back to sell our stuff. Oh, we found some rubber bands. Okay. Rubber bands you can use for your rubber band gun. Uh, there are some robots that will kind of bully you and push you around. And you can use the rubber band gun to kind of fend them off. Or you can shoot the innocent robots and just kind of, you know, wreak havoc. They get scared. They run off. It's cute. I like it. Yeah, you got to be careful, man. If you're a gambling addict like me, man, you got to watch out for this game. This game's got all the gambling stuff that you can ever want. We got scratch cards. We got coin pushers. But we only got $3 to our name here. I see one more trash can. Let's check this one last trash can, actually. I see two. Two trash cans side by side. We're going to check these two and see what we get out of these. Another scratcher? Yo, no way we found four scratchers. Oh my god. Can we get a big winner? No. We cannot. We'll never win. Remember, y'all, 90% of gamblers quit right before the big jackpot. Another one! Are you kidding me? Please. <gasps> we won $2.50. Let's go. Now, normally you have to buy that scratch card for $10. That would have been a loss, but we found it for free. So that's a win right there. I would pick up more, but my inventory is now full of stuff here. 
So let's go ahead and take all of our goodies and we're gonna go to the pawn shop and we're gonna sell them for some money. While you're riding your bike on the road, you do wanna watch out for the vehicles as well. I found that if you're on a vehicle, I'll let this one hit me. When you're on a vehicle, you don't take damage. But yeah, sometimes you get that, the whole you've been reset to your last known position. And right now that seems to be fine, but I have had games where I get that and then the game kind of glitches out and I'm like out of bounds and I can't get back in bounds. And the only way to fix this, like reset the game, kind of annoying. So just try to avoid hitting the vehicles. You don't take damage while you're on your bike, but if you're on foot, you will take damage and they do a lot. They do like 10 or 20 damage. So definitely got to watch out, man. This is very easily going to become walking in America as a pedestrian simulator because these cars do not stop for you, man. There are no sidewalks. It's just, you gotta you got play Frogger just hopping across the traffic. I say Frogger, is that is that aging me? I should say Crossy Road, right? No, Crossy Road's still aging me, right? Anybody remember Crossy Road? I love Crossy Road. Oh, we gotta play some Crossy Road one of these days, man. Yeah, so here we are at the pawn shop, Barry's Pawn. They buy all of our stuff, and you can see on the little board here, they do have high demand items. The items that are in high demand will be worth double, so you wanna watch out for those. Uh, right now, though, we're going to take what we can get because we're broke. And then we walk inside. All you got to do is drop it. We can also drop the stuff that we collected from the claw machine back at our house. So we'll go ahead and drop everything here so we can get some good money. Just throw it all on the machine there. Snow cones, the recycling. Oh, I can drink this one real quick. Let me drink that. They're worth the same whether you've consumed them or not. So you might as well consume it if you're about to sell it. And there we go. You see those snow cones? Uh, those are worth 22 bucks each. And then that candy that we picked up in our house, that was $3. And now we got 51 bucks to play with. And now we can take this $51, and we can kind of just do whatever we want with it. We can play, oh boy, well, there's the robots I was talking about earlier, the ones that attack you. Looks like they're fighting each other, actually. Nope, they're going for me. Get out of here, man. Get the hell out of here. If you're ever not uh, low on uh, rubber bands, you can also use your flashlight. You have a flashlight in this game, and you can also whack them with the flashlight. So if you ever don't have rubber bands and you got to fight these guys, there you go. That's how you do it. I never waste my money on rubber bands. You really don't need to buy them. If you're ever low and you want more, just do the paper route because the paper route, you'll get uh, rubber bands for for doing it. Let's go check out one of the arcades now. Now that we got some money to play with, we'll go to Larry's Arcade. This is the first one that most of you guys are probably going to go to. There are several arcades in the uh, map, though. If we look at the map and zoom out, we got a couple different ones. There's one inside the mall. There's one over here, way on the other side of the map, UFO Point. We got the one-eyed Billy's pirate-themed arcade. And then we're at Larry's right now, somewhere in the middle. So there's four arcades at the moment. When this game first came out, I believe there's only one. So they're constantly updating this game. I say they as if, like, it's a team. It's actually one guy who makes this game. It's pretty crazy that one guy does all of this. But, yeah, we got 57 bucks in our pocket. Uh, this coin pusher right here is a pretty good game to play, too, when you're first starting out. Uh, reason why is because these little prizes. Let's go ahead and put a couple plays in here. We'll show off. Let's do a $10 worth of plays. I mean, I love point pushers. We're going to grind this thing out. Uh, the reason why I say this one's pretty good for beginners is because these little prizes inside this, the little fidget spinner and the little pocket knife and the little, I think there's a lighter down there. Uh, those are worth real money. Um, not real money, but like real game money instead of tickets. And if we can get them off there, we can kind of make our money back. You saw I put $10 in this machine. We're probably not making our money back now because I'm not lighting these up. You got to light up the coins. Oh, there we go. We got $5 right there from picking a prize. And there we go. Now we got a bonus spin. Every couple bonus spins, you'll get a new prize that drops into the machine there. So we spent $10, and we already made back 5 If we drop another uh, prize or two, we might be making our money back, actually. Let's go ahead and keep playing. We'll see if we can make our money back at least. Make a little quick profit. There we go. Another bonus spin. That's two. I think it's three. Every three. Nope, every two. Or maybe it is every three. I don't know. Uh, we got 250 250 yeah there we go so we made our ten dollars back at this point anything we make is pure profit and don't forget you're still getting tickets which we can redeem those tickets for arcade prizes and then those can be sold for money as well but yeah cuckoo clock man this is a pretty good one to play my favorite coin pusher is dunko if you guys watch my streams y'all know i love dunko oh my god we got a super bonus okay we get to pick three until we match three if we get 20s that's insane on the first playthrough here oh my god uh, we got the tens. All right, so now we're gonna get three ten. Uh, we're gonna get ten bonus spins, and the tickets are also being multiplied by two. So instead of ten, we get twenty, and we're gonna let this thing spin out. It also spawns some of the prizes too, I believe. But, yep, we got a little pocket knife that spawned there, and five hundred tickets. So getting those bonus spins is definitely a uh, big payday. Already made our money back, and we're gonna spawn a bunch more prizes. 
yeah, you can definitely make a pretty easy profit off this game if you have some money to play with. All right, so our bonus spins are just about finished up here. I think we have one more. Yeah, we got one more bonus spin here. And look at all the prizes that have dropped now. We got so many things inside there. If I was playing this like for, for real for the first time, I probably would recommend playing this like a lot more so you can get those prizes and make your money back. I'm only going to use my last of my credits here. We're going to move on because I don't want to spend all video on this one game. But the Cuckoo Clock uh, coin cusher. This is definitely a good game to play when you're just starting out. You'll get your money back for the most part. And then any tickets you win, you can redeem for prizes, which you'll also be selling for stuff. Wait for that final push. Every time you do a coin pusher and you're done, it gives you like a couple seconds to make sure nothing falls. You gotta be careful because sometimes stuff will still fall after the time runs out, but that doesn't count because you're not playing it. So you gotta be careful. Go and take our tickets. We got 2,000 tickets right there. That's not too bad. Uh, another good game you can play at this arcade is the speed drop. Uh, don't tell nobody I said this because I would never cheat personally, but... The speed drop in this arcade in particular is actually broken. You can just spam and not even worry about landing the balls in the cups. That's what you're supposed to do normally. You're supposed to land the balls inside these little cups here. But we can just spam it, and it gives us the jackpot every time. I mean, this jackpot's not too good, honestly. Like, I think the game costs, what, $2? Let me see. Yeah, this game costs, uh... How much, how much money do you cost, man? Can I get a price on this thing? I can't get a price on this thing. I think it might be like a dollar. I think it's two dollars, maybe a dollar. Regardless, 500 tickets for a jackpot really isn't that much. So this isn't a game that I would recommend like spamming the crap out of. But when you're just starting off and you need some tickets, or if you just, you're a couple hundred short and you need yeah, a good game to play, it's not a bad one. But now that we have accumulated a few tickets, we're gonna go ahead and take it to the Ticket Redemption Center. You remember these in old school arcades? You had to feed the paper tickets to the machine. Pretty crazy now. now nowadays, uh. Everything's on the card, right? And there we go. We got 6,000 tickets. And we can take that right over here and redeem them for prizes. So generally, the rule of thumb is the more expensive the prize is, the more it's going to be like worth when you sell it. Uh, somebody on Steam did a really good breakdown of every single prize and the ticket to dollar ratio. And slingshots were found to be the most effective thing you can buy. You get the most bang for your buck, sort of to say. Stacker is also a pretty good game to play in the early game because you get these headphones if you win. It's very difficult though. Now in real life, Stacker's rigged. I do not recommend playing Stacker IRL at all. But uh, there's a way you can kind of cheat this one here. If you aim for the left side there and then hold... Okay, make me a fucking liar. There we go. On the fourth one, you can hold down the click button, which auto fires it. And you can actually kind of auto stack it all the way to the top. Always go for the major prize. Don't go for the minor one because it's not worth it. On the last one, though, you cannot hold the, the, the trigger because it's going to spawn the block on the left side. But basically, you only have to time the first four and then the last one. Now, the last one's hard to time, but unlike real life, this game's not rigged. It's just really difficult. Let's see if I can get this real quick. i got to dial in here. Hey, there we go. And now we got some headphones. So this is a good game to play at the beginning as well. If you can get good at it, if you're good at timing things, this is a good game to learn. Because you can get these headphones and they're worth a kind of... Uh, I think they're like, what, 20 bucks, 30 bucks? I'm not 100% sure. And then before I get out of the arcade, one last thing to talk about is, of course, you want to make sure you're monitoring your food and your energy. If you're ever running low and you don't have food on your inventory, uh, most arcades will have like vending machines. So you can get like little candies. These will give you some energy. And then there's the Devoted Dew, which is, you know, Mountain Dew, but they can't say Mountain Dew for licensing. Uh, Devoted Dew will always give you health and energy. In this game, it's a health food. You get five health and 25 energy. So when in doubt, grab some dues and just crack them, throw them back, and you'll be good as new. Let's go ahead and take these and sell these. All right, so we got our stuff in there. We got 50 bucks. Oh, the headphones are 50 bucks? Damn, that's good. I did not even realize that. That's actually, who's shooting me? What the, whoa, hello? That That's the guy I was telling you about earlier. The guy who's supposed to, hang on. Bro, what? Is he gone? There he is. Yeah, this is the guy that comes and gets you if you were cheating that speed drop game. This is the guy that comes and shoots you, but I don't know what he's doing out here. He's supposed to be guarding Larry's Arcade, man. I forgot my money. I can grab that. Last thing I'll talk about in this video, actually, is we're going to talk about where to get food. It's a couple different places where you can buy food. Uh, it's good to have it on hand. You don't want to be in a position where you have to, like, buy restaurant food. Most arcades have, like, a restaurant or something nearby. So you don't have to ever worry about, like, not being able to get food. But there's also the Islandville Market, and you can do some grocery shopping here. And here's where you can get pretty much anything in the game. 
Uh, you can get these sodas. I think the sodas are like the best bang for your buck as far as energy goes. You can get a six pack for seven bucks. And then the band-aids are also good for your health. So if you're looking for the absolute cheapest thing to keep yourself alive and in good health, uh, sodas and band-aids are probably your best bet. You can also buy rubber bands. Again, I don't buy rubber bands. You can get them from the mail route. You can buy the pet food. You do have to feed your pets at home. You don't have to do it. They don't die if you don't. But the goose gets really sad and like lays by his bowl. And he just looks pathetic when he's not fed. So it is, they are more mouths to feed. But once you have a good amount of money coming in, consider taking care of your pets at home, man. You know what? They deserve food too, man. And if we hop back on our bike and head over here, we can see the Jerry's Gas and Go. This is another place where you can go and buy some food. They sell sandwiches and stuff like that. They also sell the lottery tickets, which is very addicting. We got a hundred bucks right now, right? I think I think we earned a little lottery ticket. Surely our luck is gonna change now, right? Let me uh drop twenty-five dollars, a quarter of my entire money right now. And this is gonna be the big winner, man. We're gonna win a billion dollars off this. This is gonna be the one, man. I feel okay. Well, yeah. Better luck next time. Yeah, don't gamble, guys. Just save your money. Don't don't do it. But here's where you can buy some milk and sandwiches and other good food items you can keep on hand. And what's really nice is when you buy stuff from a store, they actually bag it up for you, so it takes up less space in your inventory. I'll go ahead and buy two sandwiches just to kind of demonstrate that. When I go ahead and buy those, seven bucks each, man. Fifteen bucks. Yikes. Spending all of our money. But yeah, they come in this little bag. You put the whole bag in your inventory. So it kind of saves like space for when you're grinding out prizes. And then when you're ready to eat it, you just open her up and then everything you bought is in there. You can just chow down. Go to town. Eat your sandwiches. And guys, from here, uh, it's pretty much do whatever you want for the rest of the day. You have some money in your pocket. You can go to any of the arcades. I'm about to win a big jackpot here, aren't I? Yes, let's go. Oh, 900? That's not much of a mega bonus, right? Okay, well, this, all right. Well, it, it was something, right? We, we got a little something. Uh, like I was saying, though, at this point, you have some money in your pocket, and you just go to any of the arcades you want to go to, play any of the games. I went to the mall arcade. This is, like, my favorite one to go to. I love the mall arcade. Got some good games here, and the mall has a lot of shops, too. A lot of food courts and other shops. The last thing you have to keep in mind when you're playing the game is just watch your time. Right now, we have, uh, it's 5.19. You have to be back at your house by 7 or until when you see that little blue clock number go to 3. Uh, that means you have 3 in-game hours left and that's when you got to get going home. So I'm going to play some arcade games, man. I'm going to stick around for a little bit until it's time to go home. Let's see if we can get a jackpot on Combo Craze. This game's pretty good. You get 2,000 tickets if you win the jackpot. You got to line up the little red circle and the yellow line. 50 times and you gotta be careful because it does count down to zero it counts zero as the number so i think it's actually technically 51 which is a little stupid but if we can get this we get 2,000 tickets so let's go ahead and see oh we don't okay well you can't win them all right how about some ticket toboggan thank you to whoever commented on my last video tell me how i'm supposed to pronounce this now i know see boom 1400 tickets right there let's play a little bit of this until the jackpot falls below the jackpots in this game don't work like they do IRL. They usually reset to a random number, so you can play a game as many times as you want until the jackpot goes to a, a bad number. I've seen this one go as low as like 400. We don't play for 400. That's not really worth our time. But over a thousand? We'll play this game for over a thousand tickets, definitely. I got that timing down though. There we go. We got it. There it is. We got our little Yahoo. Love that sound, man. We're gonna keep playing this until the jackpot falls below a thousand, actually. Keep grinding it out. Why not? Now that I got the timing down. Ah, uh, actually, that one, I felt like I might have missed that one. I don't think it should have given me that, but I'll take it. I'll take free tickets. Yeah, 600 bonus? No, we don't play for 600 bonus, man. We don't do that around here. And that's one of the best parts about this game, too, is just finding whatever game you're good at, or just getting good at all of them, honestly. I'm pretty good at this game, Wormhole, here. I can get the jackpot pretty much every time. Let's see if I can get all four in a row. You get four balls. The jackpots aren't very big, but you do get four balls, so if you get all four of them... There we go. We got 100 something. There's 200. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this four times in a row. If I get this four times in a row, y'all, if you're new to the channel, you have to like and subscribe right now. It's actually legally required or the game will uninstall off your computer. So definitely make sure you're doing that because you don't want to you don't want to have the game uninstall. That's not how you. Oh, my God. We got it four times in a row. Let's go. How many takes is that total? Let's see. We got 600. OK, not bad. There's also a leaderboard too. Every single game has a leaderboard. 
And I actually love that. I somehow got the global rank 71 on this one. Don't know how that happened. Because I hardly ever play this game. But uh, some of the games, I'm actually pretty high on the leaderboards. So what's one of the games I'm like? Oh, the, the ball dropping game. I'm actually really high on the leaderboards with this one. I play this one a lot, y'all. This is my favorite game. Y'all y'all are probably going to want to know what my favorite right. game of the arcade is. Boom. It's got to be this one. Let's see if we can get a mega jackpot. Last video I did, the first video for this game, I was able to hit a mega jackpot first try on this game. Let's see if I can follow that up. Or it, it, honestly, I would just take the ball going anywhere at this point. It's kind of stuck on the wall there. Can you please go into one of the holes? Pretty please? Can you, uh... Well, just like in real life, this ball gets stuck all the time for real. <laughs> there we go. Okay, well, you could have given me 50. That would have been nice. Would have appreciated a 50. Let's go for a jackpot right. squish. See if we can get inside that jackpot. Nope, we did not. We got 15 there. Let's go for it again. Get that right. jackpot. Boom. Jackpot. There it is. Nope. We did get a nice clean bounce though. We got the 50 again. I like to aim for the bonus balls for this one. I don't really aim for the jackpot too much. I go for the bonus balls. When it comes to games like this, you gotta find your strike point, the thing you use to time that. I'm looking at that little silver dot. You see it kind of going around the center of my screen. I'm trying to line that little dot with the second screw on the machine there. I did the wrong one. I hit aim for 15. But yeah, that's my strike point that I use. You all can use whatever you want to help you get the timing down, but just find something that you can use as like a reference for when you're supposed to drop the ball and get that time. We didn't get the mega jackpot this time, but I just want to show off my leaderboard. Uh, well, according to the bottom one, it says global rank 484, but then on my friends only, it shows my global rank at 78. I think I am at 78. I played this game so much, you can see how many lifetime plays. Almost a thousand. That's crazy. I've almost played this game a thousand times. I've only owned this game for like, what, like a week? <laughs> I kind of have a bit of a problem with this game, honestly. Let's, uh, let's, let's win a cow from the claw machine, right? Let's, let's go ahead and have, let's go win a cow here. I, I, I bet I can get this guy. Right about there. I do hate how the claw machines, you can't like check your different angles. You kind of have to just eyeball it. Yeah, see, that was way too close. He's going to push him back. Okay, we go. Oh, no, we kind of rolled him forward a little bit. Okay, that, was, that wasn't terrible. All right, this time though, we want to push him forward, ideally. We don't even really want to grab him, honestly. Just a like, push forward. No, that was too far back though. I kind of scooched him over. We don't want to scoot, we want to push. And now you can see in the bottom of my screen, bottom right, you see that little blue clock is ticking, is flashing on and off. That means that it's time for curfew. Once that clock starts flashing, you can now go to bed and start the next day. And if you're not there in time before that time runs out, it's a game over. The mom robot's going to come attack you. So definitely want to make sure you're home in time. But, you know, we're close to getting this cow, man. I want, I want, I want my cow. So we're going to risk it. We're going to just play a little more. Oh, God, I made it worse. No, I want, I want my cow, man. I'm sorry. Listen, this is my cow. I've earned this cow. And I want him. There we go. Push him forward, baby. Come on. Push him forward. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We're so going to be late for real, for real. I'm going to try the other one because the other one's back at its default position. I've kind of played this game a lot, so I've kind of got the timing down. When they're on their default positions. Gotta yeah, go all the way to the back and then like three seconds forward. I kinda go back by the time. We just wanna nudge him in. No, you're nudging him the wrong way, sir. The claw like stabbed it. Oh god. And now it's all the way back there. Alright, well now that he's all the way back there, maybe just put the claw all the way to the back and drop it. Maybe that'll just knock him forward. Possibly. Oh almost. That almost did it, actually. That was that wasn't a bad idea. All right, baby, come on, one more time, please. I gotta get home, man. Mom's worried about me. Come on, no, don't push him backwards. This claw sucks. All right, I'm going back to the first one. I feel like we had better luck with the first one. But y'all, we are running low on time, please. Come on, Mr. Cow. Just, just fall in the hole, man. <gasps> yes, that's it right there. That's it, come on, drop it in. Yeah, <laughs> we got our prize cow and another but another one spawned right over the prize shoe maybe we can get two we got time to get two we we're, we're, let's get him a friend right i mean he's got to have a friend right a little little buddy to hang out with and they dropped it right in front of the prize shoe it would be rude to leave that behind right okay well i would argue that's a bit more you know we're leaving him i don't care 
Sorry, buddy. You don't get a friend today. We got to go, man. We got to... I got curfewed. Oh, man. Where did I park my bike? Which side of the mall? I don't even remember. I legit don't remember where I put my bike. Uh, I'm going to look at the map. The map always shows you where your vehicles are if you ever lost. Oh, we are here. It's like right behind me, according to this. And get my flashlight. Oh, there it is. Yeah, once it's nighttime, it gets really dark in this game. And there's no way to adjust your brightness. I think that's by design. I think they wanted to kind of give it a bit of a horror survival feel. Not that there's any horror in this game, but... I mean, it's, it's kind of a goofy game, right? A survival arcade game. So... I don't know, I think this is kind of by design, but we got to get going, man, because we have less than three hours to get home, and our home is not too far away, but it's kind of far. So we're going to haul ass and try to get the... Oh, don't hit... Okay, you... That was not nice of you. Oh, bro, he turned me all the way around. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> that guy knocked me out so hard, I'm going the wrong way. Alrighty, and we made it. Home sweet home. Just going to jump off the bike. Send it flying. Don't worry about it. If your bike ever gets lost, you can always use the map and you can reset the bike and it'll go right back outside your house where you found it. And now we're home. And all you gotta do is go to bed. But you can also do some other stuff like feed the animals. You see uh, the little number on their food that shows you how much food they have left. So he's about halfway done with his food. The goose eats a lot. The fish barely eat anything. Like they're at 86. You, you can go weeks without feeding the fish. This guy though, this goose, he eats like watch what happens i'm gonna put his food down here and you do gotta place their food like in front of their bowl in order to use it watch him come a running for his food look at him i don't even know where he is right now but he heard that yeah there he is yeah he's coming for it he's me for real he hears his dinner time he comes a running and then don't forget to shoot grandma robot with your rubber band gun you know just gotta make sure she stays alive i don't know how a rubber band gun keeps her alive but you know what that's the joke roll with it man and then you just want to make sure you go back to your bed before time runs out. And you've officially completed your first day. And that is how every single day is going to go from there. Just the gameplay loop. You eat, you play, you sleep, repeat. And you do it for as long as you can last. On my main file, I'm on day like 50 almost. Like I think I'm on day 47, 48. Uh, I'm trying to go for 100. That's the achievement. There's a Steam achievement for getting 100 days. But honestly, I want to go even longer than that. I'm just going to see how long I can survive for. But that's going to be uh, it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys found this one useful. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys also enjoyed my new, like, style of doing videos. I'm trying to get better at doing, like, live commentaries, like, while I'm actually playing the game versus writing out a whole script and then getting the gameplay and then kind of piecing it together. I feel like it's more natural when I do it this way and I can show you guys, like, in real time when I see things and need to talk about things. Um, I don't know. It's, it's kind of new for me. Uh, hopefully it, came, it comes out good. If y'all enjoyed it, let me know. If you guys prefer my old method, let me know about that too. Let me know either way, man. I, I, I want to know. But that's going to do it for today's video, gamers. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are enjoying Coin Game because I am loving Coin Game. This game is amazing. And I'm definitely going to play some more. I think the duck is going for it. Grandma, get the fuck out of the way, Grandma. God, I'm trying to get out of my way, Grandma. I want to see what the duck is doing. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, he's schnoozing. All right, uh, I'm not streaming right now. I should probably end the video at some point. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's coin game video. And as always, stay epic, gamers.